Right, folks, back with a, for Fox's sake, special edition. Uh, obviously, with no football happening, for Fox's sake, has not been happening either. Um, but a lot of people have been asking me about the uh, what, 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 what we should do with the, uh, the Premier League. And every other league, to be fair. You know, it's not just the Premier League that's being affected. It's the Championship and Division 1 and all that kind of stuff. Um, and... I know with this virus that's going around um, the world and it's affecting every kind of contact sport, any kind of uh, gathering and I totally, totally understand how serious it is, right? Uh, but one day we will beat this virus or, well, perhaps we won't beat it. Perhaps this is going to be, this is our life's going to be now. Um, perhaps we are going to have uh, viruses and illnesses coming around every so often all the while. So what um, people have been doing, they've been asking me, I thought, so I'm going to give them. Um, I was on Leicester Fan TV yesterday uh, and I gave them, uh, I, I, I said what I thought on there. And um, I thought, um, I did a live as well last night and uh, people uh, were asking me what I thought there, so I thought, sod it, may as well make a video of it, and then that way people aren't going to keep asking me. With the visually impaired, I've just took a sup of a sup of Carlin out of the can. Um, so what I've done is I've made some notes just to keep my mind fresh. Um, so yeah, these people dying and the. Uh, and this illness has got to be taken seriously and sport and everything else fades into the background but like I've said we will beat this hopefully fingers crossed we will beat this um, because when all said and done life has got to return to some kind of normality um, you know we, we um, we've got to move on eventually and we, we've got to have something to look forward to and I think that this goes for all sports, football, cricket, rugby, darts, snooker, you know, anything. Uh, even blooming dominoes in the local club, working man's club or pub. Um, it's got to be sorted. And um, I honestly think that this season has to be finished. Um, I don't care if the season restarts in November or whatever. I personally think this season has got to come to a conclusion. Um, suspend the league until uh, whenever, and then we start again. Um, the games, some games, because what's going to happen eventually is that these um, lockdown, the um, social distancing rules will be uh, relaxed eventually. And what is it? We can't have just like it, making me burp all the while. Um, so you know things will be relaxed eventually you know the, the the curve or whatever it is that they're talking about will come and hopefully uh we will have less death and hopefully will there'll be no more deaths um but um i think we've got to finish the season right um no matter what um even if you play it behind closed doors i know people say oh football's for the fans yeah football is for the fans but at the moment the fans are in limbo uh, li uh what it is uh, whatever it is, the, we're all we're all um, we're all just hanging there, really, aren't we? We're just wanting to know what's going to happen, and I think the, uh, the, the FA should actually come out with a thing and say, uh, I think FIFA and UEFA should do the same. I think they should all come out and say, right, we will finish this season. This season will be complete because what happening is, what's going to happen is. Say they void the season, right? And that's it. Nobody goes up, nobody goes down. There's going to be legal uh, repercussions of teams that are coming up. And, you know, then you've got your teams in the fifth and the sixth and the seventh place who think they should be in the Champions League. If they just... They can't just do void. It's got to be sorted. Um, and I think what they should do is... If, to play this season out, right? No matter when it is... That way it gets sorted, it gets finished. Because there is no guarantee that this isn't going to happen next year. We could come out of this, right, um, void the season, and then everything gets back started in normal in August, right? So you, you start your games, your Premier League games, and it's all the same 
teams who were up here now and the same teams Leeds and uh, West Brom didn't come up and, and that's it, right? And say everybody accepts that situation. But what is to say that this won't happen again March next year? And then that's it. The season's... This next season's knackered as well. So that'll be two seasons completely fucked. So what you do is, right, this is just what I've been thinking because, um, because people want to know what I think. Um, right, you finish this season. You finish this season no matter what. I've been saying that. You finish this season no matter what. Be either playing closed doors, uh, a limited crowd or what. Let's get this season done. Let's get Liverpool crowned as champions. Let's get your four Premier League, uh, Champions League places. You get your relegations and all that. Right, so even if we finish this season in, uh, start the season in November, finish the season off in November, it comes to a conclusion. Then what happens is, um, well, I'll tell you a little bit more what I think about the, um, just seeing on my nose. Um, what you do is you get your Premier League teams, and it'd be like World Cup, okay? Your teams get, in the World Cup, your teams go to a hotel, and they go then to another hotel when they're playing uh, in a different part of the country. Well, what happens is, I've actually read this, and I thought, what a bloody great idea. Um, you, you pick a hotel, so Leicester would pick a hotel uh, in Leicestershire, um, near the KP, or wherever it is in the KP, closest they can get, that associates them, uh, that can stay there. They're not too far away from the, uh, the um, training ground and all that kind of thing, and, you know, then what happens is Leicester would actually have that hotel. Uh, the opposition team then would come and stay in that hotel. So that hotel has been totally cleaned. Uh, you know, it's on top of, uh, you know, you've got your cleaning staff in and it just gets cleaned all the while. Um, and then, then what happens is when Leicester play away, uh, just as an example, they play at uh, Watford. Watford would be stopping in a hotel. Uh, Leicester would then stop in that hotel as well because it will be completely clean. And then when the teams leave, um, you know, during the game, they, they can have a massive clean again. Uh, the same with the buses and the transport that get them there, that would be all completely cleaned and everything. Uh, bearing in mind that social distancing has been lifted, right? The restrictions on that have been lifted. So you can actually play the contact sport. I'm not saying this is gonna happen before that is done. Um, so it would, in theory, be like the World Cup. Yeah, okay. Um, then um, we just finished the season, and a hey, presto, you get your results. But um, let me just think what I was saying before. I forgot what I was saying. I was on a roll then, weren't I? I was doing quite well. Perhaps a sip of this might help. So anyway, then you get to your, um, you get your positions and everything sorted. So <coughs> this season's done. Then what happens is UEFA, FIFA, your FAs of all the countries then get together and we sort it out that this could happen again. If they think, it's <coughs> gone another wrong hole. If they seem to think that we can finish this season start next season or avoid this season and start next season and they think everything's going to be okay they are going to be surely fucked in the head because there is no guarantee that this can this won't happen again there is no guarantee that there won't be another um coronavirus like symptoms and uh, illness that won't come back next year i think this is going to keep happening every so often so these teams have got to stop these leagues these people who are top of the bloody food chain of FIFA and UEFA and all that, you know, the ones that I don't really trust because I think, you know, I just don't trust them. And in fact, I'm beginning to trust people at the top of the chain uh, less and less every bloody day. But they have got to sit down and they have got to come up with a strategy that if this happens again, you know, we shouldn't be, there shouldn't be, I mean, fair play, right? We, you, you hear of uh, bird flu and pig flu or whatever kind of flu that there is. Um, but it's never actually materialised to this uh, extent, um, extent, yeah, extent, isn't it? And it's never taken over the world like this. And we've got to be prepared for this to happen again. Because if it does happen again, it's just going to wipe out again. And there's too much 
I know we, I'm going to say money involved, right? And money's more important, uh, life's more important than money, and rightly so. But it's these kind of things. You, your football clubs that you keep your little areas going, right? I mean, when when you go down to Leicester, you've got all your hot dog stalers, you've got your your programs, you've got your merchandise, uh, you've got hotels, you've got pubs, you've got restaurants and everything where people go to these places and, and it keeps people in living. Where are you going, Ginge? I thought that would happen. She's going to go through and make noise. Uh, so you need these places. It really does. She knew I was going to make this today and she just, I knew it. Uh, so anyway, um, you need these little places to you know, for jobs and, and to create money for people who have mortgages to pay, who have kids to look after. So you need them, right? So we need to do this kind of thing. Then, and we need these uh, FIFA and UEFA to have a strategical plan if this happens again. Now, if the um, season does finish, right? Um, if we do start the season back up again in November, then what I propose we do um, is you split the Premier League the championship and all the leagues below in half right uh, you, uh, you and then you've got less games to play so we can finish the season off earlier for uh 21 22 is that right yeah that would be right wouldn't it 21 22 so then you you have no league cup just get rid of the league cup for this for next year um you have the fa cup but you only play one game you have no replays it's all sorted into a uh, penalty shootout um, you get rid of international friendlies. I'm fed up with them because I'm fed up with the England thing. It's just... They play nobody anyway. It's just a complete waste of fucking time. Um, you make the Champions League into three into leagues, but you only have three teams in each league. Um, just to... Mind you, then again, there won't be no bloody Champions League, will there? Because they'll be playing in November. If we're starting our league in November, it's, it's just a complete fucking mess. But it needs to be... Uh, plan that if this ever happens again, we have got it under control. We turn around and we say, right, if we do get uh, a virus again um, and we can't play, the league stands as it stands. That's it. Get all the clubs to sign it um, and that's it. You, none of this rubbish that, well, we're in fifth place and we're only a point behind. This is it. This is how it's going to have to be. I think, really, we have got to... Um, get a grip of what's happening and um, be prepared because we can't have another situation like this where um, football teams are not playing. We are, you know, losing money. Um, I know I'm going on about money, but when all said and done, money is what people um, do these things for. You know, I mean, to, to wipe out, a, 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 you know, a, a, a three quarters of a season is, is just not fair it's and I'm, I'm not saying this because Leicester are in the Champions League positions in the you know in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup and I mean who cares about the FA Cup if they if they avoided the FA Cup now I don't think I'd be too bothered I think if they got rid of the FA Cup and just continued with the league I honestly don't oh, I wouldn't be bothered about that um but something's got to be looked into and I just honestly think we should finish the season even if we start up whenever, because it's what it's about, isn't it? You need winners, you need, you've got, I mean, a team like Manchester United, they could quite easily put a, you know, bring in the lawyers, expensive lawyers. I mean, the Glaziers can afford expensive lawyers and say, this ain't on. We want compensation. We could have been in the Champions League, well, could have been, <laughs> you know. But, you know, and then you've got teams like Leeds and West Brom who are going to, I mean, what is it to get promoted? And the, and the third, the team who could finish in the playoff finals and win that. It, you know, it, it could be massive amounts. They could, the FA could be paying out 300 million because they reckon it's like 100 million pound uh, to, to get promoted. And, it, and it's got to be sorted. And the thing is, I was well, I was on about with the. Um, this is, I think, where I lost it. Um, you, you split the, the the Premier League in half, right? Uh, so uh, what you do is then you get your top teams who get your Champions League. This is, I know this is unfair, but this is this is just trying to 
sort something out so that the leagues can get something sorted. Um, your teams, you got your two teams that finish in the bottom of the Premier League half of the, the you know, that split bit, and they play off, right? Uh, and the winner of that playoff then plays the winners of the playoffs in the championship. So then they go down to Wembley, they have their day, and uh, the winner of that gets either gets promoted to the Premier League or gets relegated, uh, and then gets relegated to the the championship, or they stay in the championship. And you do that with the teams that are in the different leagues as it works your way down. Uh, the team that finishes at the top half of the bottom section of the Premier League, you could give them a UEFA place. That's if you're playing in UEFA, just to give them something to actually uh, battle for, um, and just so on like that. Um, and, but that would be just to make the season shorter, just to fit it in, and just to go from there, really. Um, I think we're all looking for answers. We're all wanting to know what's cracking off. Well, I just, I just honestly think that even if Leicester are in the bottom of the Premier League, I still think we should just finish this season. And then you can actually plan, because you could actually ruin this year and next year, because there is no guarantee this won't come back. There is no guarantee there won't be a second spike. And it's just, you know, let's just get this season sorted and let the, the FIFA and the leagues and that UEFA get together and make a plan. Um, they all get paid enough money. I mean, you, they're just a bunch of faceless wonders in UEFA and FIFA. You don't, you don't, I don't even know who's in charge of FIFA or UEFA nowadays. I know Seth Blatter used to, you know, wobble his way around, cleaning everything up. Um, but... You know, it's there. Um, I'll just go through uh, my notes to make sure. I was, oh, I was going to say about the Euros. I don't think the Euros really fucking matter. I don't think international Euros really matter. Um, I think most people are fed up with England, and we're well, not fed up with England, but the way these competitions are. You know, I mean, they go to, you know, I mean, the one, the, there was one that went to Russia. The FA, uh, the uh, World Cup went to Russia. I don't know how it got it with their human rights and how they treat homosexuals and uh, minority groups. I honestly don't understand how they got that. Um, now these what one the World Cup going out to Qatar or wherever it is. That's just another complete balls up into um, with their human rights and the way they treat women out there. It's a complete joke. Um, so I'm not really too interested in international football at the moment let's get this domestic football domestic football is the bread and butter of what um football is about and that kind of thing and i think if you were looking to uh like i've said finish the rugby season finish uh whatever season i don't think there's much put well i think well for f1 f1 could just fire up and say right this is it eight gate eight um eight races that's your championship you know feet uh, f1's nothing not a really a problem um, tennis, that's the same. Tennis can just fire up when it wants, really, can't it? Um, so that's it. That's what I think. Finish the season. Get it sorted. And then we can go again. I honestly don't see the point in ruining two seasons or probably three because it could overlap this. And we've got to try and sort something out. I don't know, make the league smaller or whatever. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, special edition of the Fox Sake um, special and my ideas of this uh, finishing the uh, league and stuff. All right, folks, laters.